Welcome back once again. This is your girl, Ayla Mode. And I usually take a month or so to kind of look at the past year in retrospect and figure out what kind of resolutions and goals I want for the year ahead. It's finally the end of January and I want to kind of take you on that ride with me. So one of my first resolutions was that I really wanted to push my art to the most and do more art shows than ever. And I really did that. I absolutely did more art shows than I ever had any year before and I also did some really big art shows that pushed me to my limits. New Eat Rose is the first art show I've ever done that required a proposal and to plan months ahead and that it would take months to complete and that there was to be sort of a finished series by the end of it all and I did it. I knocked it out of the park. The images that I used in the beginning weren't what I used in the end but I really feel that that's a large part of the process. In the beginning, I had this concept uh, using blue as a label that was given to me in my childhood that would define me for the rest of my life. And it ended up working into a color scheme through my series that played a much stronger role, I feel, after it was all completed. I was so proud to be there at New Eat Rose and show myself as an independent artist and share this with my friends and my father. It, it was a beautiful moment for me and definitely a growing point in my arts career. The Emerging Toronto Artist Show was also a massive show that took months to complete. And even though I was working on an individual card, I really had to push my talent to the most. And there was so much talent packed into this show because every card in a tarot deck was represented by an, an individual artist from the greater Toronto area. There's a few international artists that actually completed artwork for this show too, which is absolutely phenomenal. And it is amazing to see the amalgamation of all that talent packed into the final form that is the ETA tarot deck. Another big resolution for me in 2017 was moving forward in my aspirations and transition. And I, I am so glad to say that I did it. Like, I was so nervous that I would not actually have the guts and step up, even though I came out to, you know, really get transition moving at a rate that I'd be happy with. But really it was just having that first step out the door to get to the doctor and be like, this is me, I need HRT, getting it done. And not only did I get that completed, but I also got my paperwork completed for my name change forms, which I am so excited to have come in soon, hopefully. And I also got a form for my gender marker change. So hopefully I can get that one put in as well so that my ID will be all put together and I will legally be seen as who I know myself to be. I don't know, what can I say? I'm excited. Another big goal for me in 2017 was to really jump into YouTube and run with it. And I have jumped into YouTube wholeheartedly a lot of it was to use it as a way of documenting my transition and I am so thrilled with um, everything that I've been doing on YouTube to document my transition. Another big goal of mine though to jump into YouTube was to use it as a way of documenting my thoughts and ideas. A number of my friends had been pushing me and telling me that I think, you know, so out of the box and, you know, I have a voice and I should use it and if I talk people will listen. So I've really been kind of putting myself into YouTube for that and now not only am I documenting my transition but I'm creating weekly content and hopefully I'll be able to maintain that and keep that going. Now my last big goal for 2017 was to move to Toronto and really make it happen and with a little bit of help or a lot of help I should say. Thanks dad. I got myself to the city and I've planted some roots and I'm now making it work for myself. I have a job that I absolutely love and even though I've had jobs in the past that have maybe looked a little more career-wise or have paid a lot more money, at the end of the day, nothing is as rewarding as a job that makes you feel included and respected but also gives you the freedom and space to do what you want to be doing. Some other big highlights and proud moments for me in 2017 were that I had dealt with a lot of pests and paperwork and 
just general crap last year. And not only was I able to handle all that crazy paperwork, which is typically difficult for me, and keep my head above water with the pests, but I was able to, you know, keep moving with my life in terms of my arts career and my transition. And I, I got it all done. I got the pests out of my life. I took care of the paperwork and I pushed harder with my art than ever before. And I am transitioning and keeping it going and loving my life. It is just so amazing. And again, this is like one of the biggest, proudest moments in my life. And this year really is such a milestone in terms of accomplishments and just overall pride and general feelings of success for myself. It's, it's so great. I've also made a lot of new friends though, whether that is at work or with my roommates, I, I can't describe it, it. Again, I feel like just stepping into the authenticity that is my life, having, you know, that out there in the world, a lot more people can see me for who I am and you make a lot more connections that way. At least for me, I am very grateful for where I am and the support and love that I get and it, it is really overwhelming. And last but not least, one of the most magical moments this year was going to Pride, being myself and really just feeling it, knowing that not only was it for all the people that really need that support, but that it was for me and that I was doing it to my fullest extent and authenticity. It's, it's great to go to Pride and know that you are there being proud and it's, it's overall magic. With that being the retrospective look at 2017, I have now got five resolutions that I am ready to move into this coming year with. And the first one is to get into more modeling and performance. I'm really starting to understand myself as a performance artist and that sure, I might put work on paper, but at the end of the day, my energy and who I am and how I behave is a performer at heart. And modeling has just been something that's been coming up through kind of playing between these dynamics the past year and stepping into my authenticity. And I'd really like to take that further. I also want to create a lot more personal art for myself. It's great making work to put in shows, but at the end of the day, I need to continue working on things that are very fulfilling for myself. So that way it keeps the momentum running and creating is also such a big part of my mental health. My third resolution is to really dedicate more time and set aside time to practice spirituality. It is also another big part in taking care of my mental health. And even though I am doing quite well, I want to make sure that I am staying on top of the ball with self-care in these ways. My fourth one is to make bold moves, take chances, and say yes. There's a lot of scary things that I'd like to do this coming year, and it's going to take a lot of guts, and I just want to throw myself to the wind, not recklessly, but being bold and being confident in myself and not stopping short of knowing what I am capable of and what I deserve. And my last one is just continue moving through this world authentically and living life to the fullest through that. Well, thank you so much for looking at my past year with me and figuring out what I'm going to be doing in this year ahead. If you haven't done this, you might want to take a look at it for yourself. It's not for everyone, but I know for myself it really helps me put a lot more focus into what I need to do and what is important to me. And you know, whenever life gets hazier or I feel a little lost, I can return to these resolutions and know that this is what I need to stay dedicated to. Until next time though, remember to keep your pencil sharp and your mind sharper. Pal.